And welcome back everyone to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts playing as the Russian Empire and yes, the Russian Empire is still around. It's still kicking. It has conquered a lot of fucking territory. As you can see, our borders are quite beautiful. Uh, our Caribbean borders are a little lacking because we don't control all the islands yet. But we will get there at some point in time when we decide to kill the British and the French. Eventually. Eventually. That's going to be one hell of a war. <laughs> Let's do a politics check real quick just so we can go ahead and look at what's going on in the world. What is the state of the world and what is happening? Because, yes, things are happening. So the Italian Navy is completely and utter ass blasted after our war with them. And they don't really have a Navy to speak of by any metric and mind you we did kick the shit out of them we might have only taken one province but we kicked their asses through and through the problem is is i didn't have the ships available to actually do anything other than constantly just barely hang on like it was a fight um so yeah we we now know what it's like to have a very limited fleet um it hurts a lot but it was fun. It was fun. The uh, the Japanese are sitting here, and they're kind of just hanging out on their island. You know, they're doing decent. They're doing decent. Um, we'll, we'll go kill them here in a little bit. We need to we need to get we need to get the Pacific Squadron put together and, and everything and get everything sorted out. The Far East Fleet really needs to be built before we can actually fucking invade the Japanese. The Germans are doing great in the terms of GDP, but in terms of their naval power, not so well right now. It's, and, and them being in consistent wars with the British and the French and soon the Americans, well, that's, that's, that's a little terrifying. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, terrifying. The French are also very terrifying in this game as well. The French usually never take the, overtake the British, but the British have actually retracted quite a bit um and it's it's because of the constant fighting and everything britain has kind of just they've kind of just been in a state of flux for a while now um you know the 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 trinity war here is just absolutely just going ape shit um let's do an uh, let's do a little check let's let's look at the state of the invasions that are going on looks like most of these are like they're either slowly progressing or they're barely progressing. Um, let's look over here. So, yeah. So, the uh, the Germans control uh, central China. Southern China is under the control of the French. And then we control northern China, uh, Xinjiang and Mongolia, and Manchuria and Liangong province. So, we, we control the, the northern hat or the northern... Uh, uh, third the germans controlled the central third and then the french got what was left after that uh tibet is an ungoverned province why the british haven't taken that yet i don't understand but hey you know what good on you tibet um you know you're free finally uh do 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 uh the british are invading oman which it looks like they are not progressing whatsoever in and then of course we have the french trying to fight across the rhine like, this right here, this border, has always been a battleground. And, uh, yeah, no. It's not happening, France. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to tell you this, but it's just not happening. Um, in regards to our fleet, we are currently, we are repairing, we are building, we're trying to refit, we're, we're just, we got a lot going on. Um... We really do need to just get uh, the ships that are older ships refitted. The these ships will probably just continue going on for the rest of the game. We're we're probably not going to be scrapping anything past this point um, because most of these ships they're good. They're they're solid designs. They're solid seaworthiness, um, solid tonnage. They're they're just good ships overall. So we're probably not going to be scrapping anything for a while, um, if at all. So. We just need to finish up our construction and get our extra ships out. We definitely need more destroyers. So many more destroyers than what we have right now. 
Um, but we will get there as we get there. We, we definitely need to be refitting, which speaking of refits, let's go ahead and refit a couple more kerches since we have the space for it right now. Uh, I can squeeze a third in there, I think. Because the kerch is a relatively light design. Yep, yep, just barely. But we did it. Let's go ahead and progress the turn. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> like, it's it's kind of great, but at the same time, it's a little annoying, to say the least. Um, lessons for the next campaign. I have definitely identified that consistently keeping up with uh, dockyard construction is an absolute must. I acknowledge it. I admit it. If you don't accept the fact that I'm acknowledging and admitting this, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you at all. Um, but yes, definitely need to keep up on it and make sure that we're, you know, making making headway at all times with our dockyard construction so that we have the extra tonnage to be able to put more ships into uh, into our uh, construction queue as possible. Um, Belgium, just to keep you happy because you're, I think you're my only friend right now. Oh no, I have somebody else. Bangladesh. Okay, so we, we have Bangladesh and Belgium. They are, they are good friends. Uh, France has all the fucking allies. <laughs> oh, Egypt is allied with the U.S. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, okay. So that could be a problem. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. So yeah, we need to just get some marines, some marine improvements, et cetera, et cetera. We just we just need to get these up so we can get some marines out and just turn them loose on the on the uh, navies of the world. Um, can we resume these? Yes, we can. Cool. <clears throat> these are just meant to be our like super or super cruisers these these things which honestly speaking should i do the new haul with these give them a little extra tonnage maybe mm, nah we'll keep them we'll keep them we'll keep them as is it's all good they're kind of just a fun design because fuck it why not have a have a cruiser with 11 inch gun or a heavy cruiser with 11 inch guns that can just delete cruisers all day yeah, yeah we'll, we'll just keep them as is. All right, so let's go ahead and get... Let's get the fleet built at this point. Get repairs going on with him. We'll build those. Okay. So at this point in time, what we need to do is we need to get uh, the Slavas refit, and then we also need to get uh, our new battleships built as well. Uh, you know, they're just they're just a continuation of the Slava design, but you know, get these new ones built, and then from there, I think we're doing pretty good as long as we can fucking just we gotta stay out of a war for a moment. <laughs> more kerches and other ships and i i at this point in time i don't know the disposition of our fleet like i really don't have a good idea of where we have ships <laughs> like i actually really don't <laughs> it's kind of a problem 
I, I will have to uh, I will go ahead and handle that off camera rather than trying to figure that out on camera because it's just it takes up a lot of time to, to make sure you have fleets in the right locations and whatnot and so on and so forth but it looks like unfortunately given the time frame that we have left in this campaign it's looking like I'm I'm probably gonna be able to kill the Japanese and the Italians and then we're probably gonna stop it there so that that's kind of I, I think that's kind of our, our goal at this point is kill Japan kill Italy and then if we can kill Germany I will go for Germany yeah yeah I'll go for Germany if I can but at this point in time fighting the Americans fighting the British fighting the French that's just not gonna be able to happen like there's just no bloody way I'm gonna be able to do it not with how much time we have left which hey you know what we, we we had a good run so far so i think i think we did pretty good we learned a lot of lessons learned a lot of a lot of things that we need to to keep in mind for further campaigns and on top of that you guys got to see some great fucking explosions so i'm i don't think there were any losses you know <laughs> Or maybe it's just me being entertained by the explosions. I, that could be. I don't know. I, 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 are you guys as, you know, as a little loopy as I am? You know, I like explosions. I like them a lot. They're fun. Right, guys? Right? Right? You know, the, the 10,000 plus Italian sailors and Spanish sailors and... <laughs> Easily, easily, we've probably killed probably at least 200,000. I, I would, I, if I had to, I, I wish, uh, like, that's what would be cool is if there was an analytics screen that would kind of tell you the breakdown of, like, each war. <laughs> like, like, what were the casualties on each side? <laughs> Torpedo tubes, torpedo tube mechanisms. We're about to get 21 inch torpedoes, which is pretty good. They're, the, they're not the big boy 24 inch torpedoes, but you know, you know, a 533 millimeter torpedo is pretty fucking big. <laughs> you know, it's a big old boy. And we're officially in 1929. So we're, about, we're, we're firmly within the interwar period. Um, during this time period, naval development was off the freaking charts. Like, it was ridiculous how much development was going into, oh, wow, we got a lot of shipbuilding capacity off that. Uh, naval design and architecture, like, the two the two periods that really, like, pre-World War One, naval architecture went, freaking ridiculous and then uh the interwar period it same deal like it was everybody was racing to prep for the next war like that was basically the the, the mindset of everybody was okay there's going to be another war um it's actually kind of it's actually kind of funny thinking about it from a from a realistic standpoint like all the signs were there that a second war was going to happen and yet people were surprised by the second war. Like all the signs were there. Um, which I actually give, I actually give the Bolsheviks, this is the only credit I'll ever give the Bolsheviks. They, they were starting to prep for this war or for the second world war. They were starting. I think it was like 19 by 1931 or something like that. The Bolsheviks were like, or, or Stalin and, and, his inner circle were like, yeah, we're going to be, there's going to be another war in Europe. Oh, Italy and Japan just went to war. Good job, guys. Um, but yeah, that's the only credit I'll ever give to the Bolsheviks. Otherwise, they can eat my dick. All right. Let's start refilling. 
putting these bad boys. Can't queue too many of them up because they are they are chunky. These ships are these ones are about to finish. Finally rebuilding the Merchant Marine after after the sh fucking shit show that was that last war. Mm. So I do have to run along here in about a, about twenty uh, yeah twenty to thirty minutes. So this this video th this this video might be a little shorter. Trying to get some, get the last two videos I needed for next week or this week, technically speaking, when you're watching this on Friday. <laughs> like, eh, is, it, is it next week? Then the next week? You know, this week? You know, what what week is it? You know, you you never know at this point. I always try to I always try to get get everything recorded for the next week, the week prior. I try, I try. Sometimes you'll have a situation where it's like, oh crap, I need to get a video done for tomorrow. Um, yeah, that was, that was a thing, you know, like, I think, uh, episodes, like, 35 through 45 or something like that, like, they, they're literally getting done on, like, a two-day, like, beforehand basis or something like that, or a couple of them were recorded literally the day before or something like that, it was, I was a little disorganized, a little bit, just, just a wee bit, I, 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 I have no, no, I have no, uh, no answer to my shame. <laughs> like, uh, why, why were you, why were you so behind on recording, Mike? Um, I have no excuse. My shame knows no limits. I don't know if I can do that. No, I can't. So we'll go ahead and suspend that for right now. And then as soon as we have the fleets put together in Odessa and Kronstadt, we're going to have to start moving them because these are going to be the two fleets because the fleet over in Vladivostok isn't going to be ready because there's just not going to be the battleships to accompany them. <clears throat> um, and as soon as we can start getting the new heavy cruisers into these fleets, that'll be good. What's going on? All right, let's do a politics check. Okay, we're looking good. Um, resume that. Can we queue up the last of these? There's three more. I think, uh, barely. And the two Slavas are commissioning. Which, that tells you how expensive these things are, is that we just went positive plus 53 billion or 53 million after after uh, after the, completing that construction. We can also quickly get we'll queue up six of these bad boys which we have the room to do it and 
and because we're going to war in Japan, we're going to put them all in Vladivostok. All right. Um, from there, we need to start moving the fleets after these commission. So four months commissioning. We're, we're going to commission, move, start moving the fleet. One, once those are done commissioning, then we'll start poking the Japanese, get them, uh, get them riled up so we can finish them off. And back to my assume native 200, 200 million plus. <laughs> our economy is growing really fast, though. Like our, our economic growth is pretty impressive given the territories we have. Like we are, like what is our economic growth like? Like here's here's the thing is because we're the empire and because of our government type, so absolute monarchy GDP growth is minus thirty five percent, province income is minus twenty five percent. Like our our income from our our holdings is very very reduced, but we're still growing at a very decent rate. Our naval budget is nice and high, and we're. we're you know, we're cutting these numbers down every fucking month that goes, so we're not doing too bad. We could be doing better, like for sure. Like for absolute sure, we could be doing better. But that also requires me trying to do the whole you know replace the uh, replace the government without getting myself fired. <laughs> Um, yeah, we don't want war with you. We, we really don't want war with you. Not, not in our current situation. All right. So two more months on that. These refits will finish up that. So that's all the old, the Kirches and Dogmonts refitted. And then, yeah, I think we're, I think we're doing pretty decent. Let's also queue up our next two battleships to start building. Which as soon as this stuff is done, then we'll be able to get that queued up. Yeah, this, this was... This was a big mistake on my part, was not focusing on that much harder. So now the fleet it, or the fleets are ready to move out. Let's go ahead and start making our way downtown. So we are setting sail for Nippon and we're going to finish off the Japanese. So we're gonna tell both both fleets to head for Port Arthur and Dalian. Let's have these guys meet up like so. 
and then so we've got six turns so they'll arrive middle of next year over here these guys will be underway right after they join up together all right and wait okay hold on resume oh, oh, oh yeah buddy we can build these while building the heavy cruisers nice awesome that's good all right so 30 months we'll have our last two battleships that we need in order to finish up the bulk of the fleet and then when these heavy cruisers finish up the the, the main fleets are built like i would love to have reserve forces put together but you know at least we have at least we have the main stuff that we need to put together <laughs> it's like oh hey you know we actually have something you know going for us what i don't understand that path whatsoever And we are burning cash to do this. Oh crap, I forgot to I forgot to poke the Japanese. Crap. Crap, 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 crap. I forgot to poke them. I need to poke them. Like, hey, do something. Do something. What are you gonna do about it? Uh Belgium, I will happily build you some more destroyers. Destroyers, they're cheap. They're easy to build. <laughs> Very easy to build. All right. And come over here and... Oh! Oh, oh, frack. We're about to go to war with them anyways. So I am going to wait to poke them because I want my fleets over that way first because I want to give them a chance to freaking refuel. Okay. Uh, apparently, relations with the Japanese are worse than expected. <laughs> Who would have thunk? You know, I just, I just didn't seize one of their islands and you know beat the crap out of them before. <laughs> it's unfortunate that the government. Oh. Oh, the. What? Why? What is? How are? They don't have a fleet in the Mediterranean. How are we getting reduced relations with them because of the Mediterranean? That's weird. Well, we're going to war with them. Like that's that's happening. Like that's that's going to happen. Like there's nothing stopping it at this point. Interesting. I don't know why why they're bitching about the Mediterranean. Well, that's, 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 whatever works for me, I guess. We'll sail into Port Arthur and Dalian to refuel, and then we'll start conquering stuff. As soon as we go to war, the budget will correct itself for the most part. Sorry, but no. Bangladesh, I will build you. A, uh, I will build you a destroyer. You're you're a good friend, Bangladesh. I, I appreciate your existence. I wish I wish you were part of my empire. Like I could protect you more easily, in that fashion. But, but, I acknowledge your desire for freedom and autonomy. I acknowledge it, and I appreciate it. <laughs> Why aren't you part of my empire? Tibet, <laughs> like, like it's kind of funny because like 
Tibet is it's an ungoverned territory, so we should have marched in there fucking forever ago, but the army is useless. Yes, army, I will give you credit for Spain, but you still haven't taken Tibet. Like, what the hell, man? All right, so the fleet's moving quick, so we're 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 in good position. <sighs> and given decreasing relations this should be the month we go to war. Maybe. Maybe. Come on. You can do it. All right, we are officially at war with a, a large cruiser, modern battle cruiser. We are officially at war with the Japanese. Let's real quick before we uh, before we go, because I do need to tie this up. Uh, let's go ahead and check out those new hulls because they might be very interesting. So modern battle cruiser. So we're looking at four hundred seventy thousand tons, screaming at a massive thirty three knots. And what can we do with you? All right. Ooh, I like that. I like that tower. Oh, brother, these towers. Oh, yeah, boy. <laughs> oh, man, these towers are going to be great. They're going to be fan freaking tastic. that guy that way nudge that guy that way just to make it nice and compact oh dude the secondaries are going to be disgusting on these uh, bo, 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 bo. what to do um let's go ahead and do i'm going to do 15 inch guns on these bad boys uh, and we're gonna go claw barrels because I'm just I'm just a, a freaking bastard like that. Actually, I don't think we can do it with the we we, we can't do quad barrels on these. They're too big. <laughs> all right, triple barrels it is. It's all good. Ah, oh, they look very good. All right, and. How big of secondaries can we put on these? All right, so on the towers, we can't go six inch. Can we go five inch? We cannot go five inch, four inch. Nope. So three and two inch are the largest we can go. Since we have the really nice two inch barrel or two inch batteries now, we're just gonna fuck it up with two inch batteries. <laughs> Those just look menacing. Menacing, I tell you. Menacing. Oh. Oh, those just those just look just nasty. I love it. Um, and then we'll go ahead and we'll put some. Oh, wait. Oh yeah, we can put torpedo launch. Oh, we can put deck torpedo launchers on these. These ain't submerged torpedoes anymore, boys. Uh, you know what? We'll just we'll just go like that, and then let's go ahead and do some triple triple batteries there. Triple batteries there. with a barbette. Yeah, I would like to, if I could get a barbette right here, that'd be perfect. Have something that super fires over the torpedoes. But, but she's quick. 
He's got mean guns. I think maybe, just maybe, we might build us some battle cruisers finally. gonna go incendiaries because well <laughs> you and what ship you and what ship because we just burned it just burned it to the ground uh, some parts are placed poorly I'm gonna shift these over a little bit Minus out the 16 inch bat or the 6 inch battery, and I'll minus out one of the. Okay, so we have we have to go triple batteries on these. We cannot go quads. That's fine. So that right there, slower down to 32 knots. Oh wait, what if we do that? Nah, it'd be nice if I remembered that. Be nice if I remembered that. All right, uh, hydraulic, that's good. 12, eight, eight. Four, three, three, three. Put that to a ten. Let's max out the bell armor. Oh, these two inch guns can't have armor. Weird. Weird. All right, our signature 2.9 inch guns. These things are 40. All right, we really can't do anything with them apparently. Oh, we can't put armor on them. Weird, it wasn't giving me the option to. All right. All right, all right, all right. I think the beast to bring a fuck ton of guns to bear is complete. All right. And let's check out the large cruiser or whatever that was called. Large cruiser, also considered a battle cruiser. Oh, 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 oh. 39,000 tons can cap out at 31 knots. Not much I can really do with this. Like, it's gonna have battle cruiser maintenance. Like, there's no real purpose of building these, so. Yep, well, our, our new our new battle cruiser design, which hey, you know what? There we go. We have a we have a lighter warship that can be put into the reserve fleet. So, anyways guys, I'm gonna go ahead and call this this one. I love you all. Hope you have a good day, and I'll talk to you later.